Greetings, Earthlings. Welcome back to Podcastage. My name's Bander, and I'm back with a desk walkthrough thing for you guys. So I've received a lot of questions and comments asking me what my desk setup is. Can you do a desk tour? Can you walk us through all the gear you have on your desk and how everything's set up and how you record? So I figured what the heck, might as well do it and show you how everything works. And also, if you are interested in any of the gear that I talk about, I will link everything in the description down below. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So for my main microphone, I use a Shure SM7B. If you look in pretty much any podcast studio or broadcast studio, this is what you're gonna see, and I absolutely love it. For the Shure SM7B boom arm, I use the Rode PSA1 because it's just a much sturdier boom arm and can handle a lot more weight. From the microphone, we run into a Cloudlifter CL1, which is a mic activator, and it takes the phantom power from your interface and boosts the signal by 25 decibels. As far as the interface, I picked up the Zoom U44 a few months months ago, and I'm actually super happy with that. For monitoring, I just use a pair of Sony MDR7506s. A lot of people might hate these because they lack a lot of bass response, but for me, I absolutely adore them, and they just give amazing clarity. Moving over to the right, I have an Apple wireless keyboard and an Apple wireless trackpad, and then over here, I have a Razer Chroma mouse on a Steel Series mouse pad that looks like hell because I've beaten it to death. For speakers, I use a pair of Bose Companion 2s, I believe, and I actually haven't been using them much at all. I've really been just listening to everything on my MDR7506s. Directly next to that, I just have the motivation for all my videos. I have Weird Al, The Cigarette Smoking Man, Fox Mulder, and Dana Scully. Then we just have microfiber cloths because dirty glasses are disgusting. Then there's a control for my main lighting, a guitar tool, a USB thumb drive, the microphone for my HyperX Cloud 2s. Then I always keep a pair of iPhone lenses just in case I want to record anything on the iPhone. I don't know why I have this. It's an SD card case. Couple extra SD cards. Then right here, this is my favorite thing on my desk. This is 1.3 grams of, no, not marijuana, of Trinitite. If you don't know what Trinitite is, this is what happened at the very first nuclear blast in Alamogordo, New Mexico. The blast actually melted the sand and created this, and this is the only time that this has ever been created. Then I just have a couple guitar slides. Then I have a pair of USB hubs. This first one right here, I mainly got for the SD card reader because it's a lot easier to access than reaching behind my computer the entire time. Then this is a seven port powered USB hub. I just got that because I constantly have a bunch of USB accessories that I need to connect. Then as far as the computer, I have a late 2014 Mac mini with a three gigahertz Intel Core i7 and 16 gigabytes of 1600 megahertz DDR3 and a one terabyte hard drive. And then an external hard drive, the speaker control and the second Bose speaker. For the display, I have an LG 29 inch ultra wide. And the reason I opted for this is because I simply don't have the space for a dual screen uh, setup on my desk. And this gives me all the desktop real estate I really need. Then on top of the screen, I have a Logitech C920. It's nothing amazing, it's nothing special, but it's actually the camera I used to start this channel. And it does a pretty darn good job if you're just starting out. Now, if we pan directly up, you can see that I am using the Canon T6i for all my videos. And the lens I'm using is the Canon EFS 10 to 18 millimeter. And since this is such a small room, that's why I utilize such a wide angle lens and I typically keep it around 12 millimeters. Then if we look directly above the camera, this is my Neewer LED 306 or 308, and I know it's not in the proper position. It should be at around a 45 degree angle from me, but based on the limited space I'm working in, this is what I am stuck with. Then right here, I just have a soft box light I bought off Amazon connected to a pretty gnarly boom arm that I also got off Amazon with a sandbag over here to keep it from tipping over and killing me. And what this does is really just helps differentiate myself from the background and just make the image look a little bit better. Then for the majority of mics I test, I just use this, which is the Neewer boom arm. I've reviewed it on my channel and and you guys have seen it about a million times. Directly to the left of the desk, you will see a bunch of audio treatment. And then at the top, I just have something like a coat hanger where I just hang all the cables I use regularly. Um, I know a lot of people might hate this because it looks so messy, but for me, it works perfectly because I like really easy access to all the cables and everything. I don't wanna have to go digging around and I don't care about my setup looking a little bit cluttered every now and again. Then on the other side, I also have a bunch of acoustic audio treatment. 
just to help dampen all the reverb that would happen in this room naturally. Then this lamp right here is just a lamp I picked up at Target. It is just a regular lamp, nothing special, but it does have some shelving on it just to give me an extra spot to store stuff. Then farther right, I just have a foldable table. This is where I pull stuff off of when I'm actually reviewing it, where I pull the box, pull the cables, everything off of, and mainly the most important thing, it's where I keep my coffee. All right, guys, I guess that'll do it. I hope I didn't bore anybody to death, but I wanted to go ahead and give you the walkthrough that you were asking for. If you found this fun, interesting, or helpful, thumbs up. If you thought it sucked, thumbs down. If you want more, subscribe by clicking the logo in the corner, and don't forget to follow me on every single social media platform there is out there. Links to everything in the description down below, and if you are interested in any of this gear, as per usual, links in the description. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.